So you got orders and your PCS into Maryland. If you don't know what PCS is, this video is probably not for you. If you do know what PCS is, permanent change of station, this video is for you. So you're going to be relocated to a station in Maryland. You're going to one of four places. Aberdeen Proving Grounds, Fort Meade, the Naval Academy, or Andrews Air Force Base. I'm gonna go into what you should do and where you should look to live if you're PCS in one of those areas. All right, so the first thing you should do is you need to find out what your BAH is gonna be in Maryland. I hear that some of them are higher than other places, but you need to find out what the housing allowance is gonna be so what you can determine what you're gonna be able to afford in the state of Maryland. You also need to decide, are you gonna live on base or are you gonna live off base? Because if you're gonna live on base, you need to interact with the military department that handles the base and the living quarters on there. All right, if not, you need to interact with a real estate agent. <laughs> Me right here. <laughs> and get engaged and start working through the process of going to get your VA loan. All right, the next step is gonna be get your VA loan. All right, VA loans are amazing and they are well-earned. They're amazing, they're great. My dad used to be in the Air Force. You can see this stuff right back here. And he qualified for a VA loan. No money down, no mortgage insurance. It's butter, it's amazing. So get your VA loan, talk to a VA loan specialist. They're not just the Navy Federal and USA. There are tons of local ones around here that are gonna get you probably a better deal than one of those companies will. So engage with a real estate agent, they can get you a local lender that handles VA loans. And now you're thinking about where are you gonna go? So if you're coming into Aberdeen Proving Grounds, that's in the Northeast area of Maryland. So if you wanna live on base, obviously talk to them. I don't know about the housing situation there. They know that. I can tell you about where to live off. Now it's really common that people that work at Aberdeen Proving Grounds live anywhere from Bel Air to Haver de Grace to White Marsh because it's an easy commute. It's on the other side of the tunnels. So you don't have to worry about the traffic coming down South Maryland. You just go straight up to Aberdeen Proving Grounds. A ton of the military that work and civilians that work at Aberdeen Proving Grounds live in the Bel Air, Falston, Haver de Grace, Rising Sun, those areas there. Great neighborhoods, great convenience, great shopping, super easy to live. And it's known to have a good school districts as well. All right, so if you're not going to Aberdeen Proving Grounds, you may be going to Fort Meade. Now, Fort Meade is a huge base, and it's actually home of six of the top eight cyber commands in the military. So, so we see a very, very transitional place because there's a lot of people coming in for cybersecurity, coming in and out and in and out. You may remember the BRAC, and that caused a very high influence of military command that work in cybersecurity coming in the area. Now, once again, if you want to live on base, it's a big base, interact with the military, they'll help you out there. If you don't want to live on base, there are plenty of places for you to live. Odenton, Severn, Crawlton, they're all right there within a few minute drive. You wanna be a little further out, you go into Howard County, Elkridge, Ellicott City, or you want a little more land, you go down to like Lothian, Harwood areas. But if you're coming into Fort Meade, you're coming into my area, so you should interact here, and I can help you out with that whole process. I can also help you out in Everything Proving Rounds as well, but Fort Meade is right in our wheelhouse, it's right around the corner. We love our military, we love our Fort Meade. All right, so you're not coming to Aberdeen Proving Grounds. You're not coming to Fort Meade. Let's say you're a cool fighter jet pilot, like my dad, once again, and you're coming into Andrews Air Force Base. It's most well known for the home of Air Force One, where the president flies out of. Well, this is not a spot you wanna fly your leisure plane over or fly your leisure plane into DC, because you're probably gonna get chased down by some fighter jets out of Andrews Air Force Base. But enough about that. You're coming to work out of that area, your PCS and into Andrews Air Force Base. Where are you gonna live? All right, you can live in several areas around here. Fort Washington, you can live in Upper Marlboro, Akakeek, Waldorf, all those like big major metropolitans in PG County, which also have a lot of land and cool architecture. Or if you wanna be in the hustle and bustle, you can live in National Harbor and go gamble in MGM. Overall, it's a really cool area to be in because there's a lot of different like types of living I could stay down there, but ultimately like, it's just cool if you're a fighter jet pilot and you work in Andrews Air Force Base. Welcome. Okay, so you're not PCS in Aberdeen Proving Grounds. You're not coming into Fort Meade. You're not coming to Andrews Air Force Base. Where are you coming if you're PCS in Maryland? You're coming to the Naval Academy. Now, the Naval Academy is located in beautiful Annapolis, and they've got a lot of really cool like houses on base there. You can see them over the Severn River, right like on the hill there on the water. It's pretty awesome. But if you're not going to live on base, where are you going to live? You can live in Annapolis. Annapolis is known for being fairly expensive, so you can go outside of Annapolis and live in places like Edgewater, Arnold, Shadyside, Lothian, like surrounding areas around Riva, the other surrounding areas that are around the Naval Academy, which give you a quick and easy commute. But if you're working or PCSing to the Naval Academy, you're gonna enjoy the views, and that place is spectacularly beautiful. 
thank you for your service. All right, so there's a little rundown about if you're PCSing to a base in the state of Maryland. You're probably gonna be at one of those four. Now, if you've PCS before and I left something out, leave a comment below. Or if you do have orders to move into the state of Maryland, schedule some time on my calendar below. I've got some great, great resources for you. You can help make this a seamless process. I'm Sean Martin, I'll talk to you later.